so as you would have observed differentiating everything using first principle is quite cumbersome so we have some specific shortcuts by which you can find the limits or you can find the differentiation of functions very easily so the first shortcut rule is called the product rule the product rule of differentiation so what this says is if you have a product of two functions f of x and g of x and you have to differentiate this product so you have to differentiate f of x into g of x so the formula is f of x times the differentiation of second function that is the first function intact into the differentiation of next function plus this time the differentiation of first function into the second function intact so f of x into g dash of x plus f dash of x into g of x so this is how you differentiate the product of two functions so if you want to product if you have if you want to differentiate the product of three functions f of x into g of x into h of x dash so what you need to do is you need to differentiate one function at a time leaving the other functions intact that is f dash of x times g of x h of x plus f of x times g dash of x times h of x plus f of x times g of x times h dash of x that is you differentiate one function at a time leaving the other two functions intact so this is a general rule to differentiate product of n different functions so even if you have four different functions so what you do is you differentiate one function at a time leaving the other functions constant and add all the possible terms so this rule is called product so this can be remembered easily like this uv dash is equal to uv dash plus vu dash there is the product of two functions dash differentiation is first function into second function differentiation plus second function times first function differentiation uv dash is equal to u times v dash plus v times u dash so this is a very useful is a very useful formula that you have for example if you want the differentiation of x square times cos x want the differentiation of x square times cos x so what you can do is you can differentiate x square times the second function in that plus x square times the differentiation of cos x and the differentiations of individual functions x square is a standard function cos x is a standard function and for each of this the differentiations can be derived from the first principles so we have done some of the differentiations using first principles so later on we'll try to cat we'll try to find form a table of differentiations of different functions different standard functions and using them you can differentiate the complicated functions so the differentiation of x square will find to be 2x so let us see how this has come from the table so x square is two, the differentiation is 2x times cos x plus x square times the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so effectively the differentiation of x square cos x is 2x cos x minus x square sin x so if you if you would have observed in the previous video we have differentiated x square cos x using first principles you'll see that you got exactly the same answer so this is a very useful shortcut in differentiation of product functions so next you have something called the quotient rule also that is if you have a ratio of two functions f of x by g of x so if you want to differentiate this 
you want to differentiate f of x by g of x. So the formula is something like this. So in the denominator you have g of x whole square. So in the numerator you have g of x times f dash of x minus f of x times g dash of x. g of x whole square, g x f dash x minus f x g dash of x. So you can remember this easily like u by v whole dash is equal to, in the denominator you get v square. It is whatever function is in the denominator, square of that. And in the numerator you have v u dash minus u v dash. So the difference between the product formula and the quotient formula is in the product formula you have a positive sign in the middle. In the quotient formula you have a negative sign in the middle. And to remember you can remember it like this. So the function, the formula starts with v. So you have v square in the denominator and the formula starts with v. So v u dash minus u v dash by v square is formula for the differentiation of u by v whole dash. So for example, so if you have x square by cos x, so if you want to differentiate this, so the, the answer is nothing but in the denominator you have cos square x, the square of this function. Now in the numerator, you start with v, cos x times x squares differentiation minus x squared times cos x's differentiation. So x squares differentiation is 2x. So you get 2x cos x. And cos x's differentiation is minus sin x. So minus sin x into minus. So you get plus x square sin x by cos square x. So this is the differentiation of this function. So now you have understood first principle of differentiation and you also understood how to find differentiations of products of two functions and the ratio of two functions. So again these formulas can also be derived using the first principles. So don't think that these formulas have co come from a whole different concept. So the basic concept is the first principle. So the derivations of the product rule and the quotient rule can be done using the first principles. So I'd encourage you to try that. So the derivations are not required here. So I'm not doing the derivations. Now what we do is we'll tabulate the standard differentiation formulas. So once we have the standard differentiation formulas, we can differentiate all functions very easily.